Hi everyone, my name is Matt Aquilino with Nexus Baseball, and this is Quick Hit, where I quickly cover your questions about hitting mechanics and technique. Today I want to look at how the baseball swing is like a punch. I covered this last week on the baseball pitch on Quick Pitch, but I wanted to cover this part of this series as well. Part of what held me back initially in baseball was not realizing how similar the punch and the baseball swing are. Although I knew both were rotational motions, I had never heard the two motions described correctly enough to show their similarities. I believe the punch is such a great analogy for the baseball swing as it uses largely the same muscles and concepts. The primary difference in the punch being the elbow going back behind the body before coming forwards, whereas with two hands on the bat, the elbows both stay in front of the body. Otherwise, the two motions are extremely similar. The analogy is extremely helpful in understanding the sequencing of the swing. If you think throwing a punch, your body will automatically brace itself as the body comes forward to utilize the hips, as no one would throw a punch in front of their front leg. This keeps you back and allows the hips to be better utilized. It also produces the same rotation through the torso uh, with the hips starting the motion and the, the, the torso rotating and following. Finally, it also features arm extension as well as controlled pronation. This is the arms extending in the swing rather than the pendulum effect of the bat like so. Likewise, when throwing a punch, you want to visualize punching through the target, not to it. Which cues my favorite elf, as it teaches continued torso rotation into impact while the hips are still bracing, creating a safe and effective follow through as well as peak force, like so. That is where the torso is not straight to the target, but continuing to rotate into the swing, but in contact. This is because a properly thrown punch is from the center of the torso and not the hand itself. These elements provide great coordination and visualization cues when teaching hitting. In the next Quick Hit video, I'll be looking at if power hitters are born or are made. Remember, if you like the content, please subscribe. See you next time at Nexus Baseball.